Okay, I think I'm recording. I'm going to take you through some of the controls on here because it is a digital machine and there's um, uh, when you first start using it, it takes a while to get used to it. So um, let's go ahead and turn on our machine. Make sure you can see the screen well. Okay. All right. Can you see the screen pretty well there? Okay. Um, over here you have seven buttons, which is your controllers. We've already talked a little bit about our help. There's your help that'll t walk you through all these different steps. And this is your return button. It'll always take you to the main screen, which is your beginning screen. Here's your page back. Here's your page forward. Here is your, um, this is your embroidery function where you want to actually, it won't work on this because we're in the sewing mode, but once you go into a um, embroidery mode, then it will start working for you. This is your different, um, uh, this is an embroidery mode also, embroidery mode. That's your uh, main embroidery mode. Here's your preset patterns, your alphabets. Um, we'll talk about that when we get to the embroidery side. And then you have this little piece of paper that's sort of bent up on the corner and that's where you set all your functions at. Um, so let's go ahead and choose that button. Okay, so your first option here is going to be your needle up or needle down position. Um, I prefer using the needle down position when you stop on a position you have a needle down. Um, that way that, um, let's just show you what I mean. If we set this as a needle down position, when I go to um, sew something, why doesn't that want to go in? Got a tangled thread here. Okay, let's just go ahead and uh, set something down here and sew it. Oh, let me go back to the main menu. What's going on here? Okay, here we go. I don't know what happened there. Okay, so when my position stops, my needle stops downward. Okay, now if I go back and set this to, um, go back to my menu choices, and I change it to needle up, next time I stop my machine, my needle is going to stop in the upward position. Um, that's going to, too much shadow on there. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? Okay, so now if I wanted to pick my, my fabric up and turn the corner, What's going to happen? I'm going to lose my spot. I'm going to have to actually punch my needle, lift up, turn to sew around a uh, corner square. If I was in the, um, if I did it in the down position, every time I go to stop my needle, I am going to stop down so I can just go ahead and turn without even have to fuss. It saves you a step. And then when you stop, you're always going to start up in the right position. So my recommendation is always to, if you get if you get set that way, it's always better to to stay in that. I'm getting too much shadow on here, but it's always good to do that in that position. Okay. So there was that. Okay. So that was your uh, needle up, needle down position. Your with control, you can either turn it on or turn it off. So in other words, if I wanted to, right now my width control is off, so I have to control my width by changing this button here and changing my width to whatever I want my um, width. This is my length, this is my width. Let me go to a, um, let me go to a zigzag so you can see what I mean. Okay, there's a zigzag. So I've got my, I'm zigzagging a stitch here. Now, I'm going to have to come here and change my uh, width of my zigzag, either make it smaller or make it larger. Okay, now if I go back to my menu choice and I change my width control to on, now my width is going to be controlled by this right here. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean. I want a huge width and I want a tiny width. I have no, I have no zigzag whatsoever on that machine right now. Can you see that? And this is great for when you're doing machine applique. So let me just um, change my length of my stitch and I can go down to a really uh, tiny stitch and I can go and I can applique around 
whatever I want to sew. That's a little too low. I can applique around whatever I want to sew and I can change the width. Okay, let me see how that looks. I'm making a mess of this machine because I did too much. This is really too fine a fabric. So let me try this again. Let me try a little smaller. And then I can just go into a bigger mode. Yeah, this fabric's too thin to do this uh, type of design on there. But you get the idea. You can go from a small to a large. And if I had, let me go to a double fabric and you'll get a better um, idea of what this is like. Okay, say I'm applicating something. I can go big, I can go small, and then say I want to do like a leaf. I can keep slowly making the leaf small, 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 small until I come down to absolutely nothing. So you can see where that goes. And I'm doing a straight stitch. Go up backspace. And there you go. I've just created my own design on um, just by using this back and forth on the, um, you can hear it clicking, see how it goes up. Okay, so that's what that is. So that's just off or on, so you can do that, control your width with that. Okay, so that's that. So that's that menu. Next menu is name of your color. You can change it to go either um, in millimeters or you can change it to inches. It's whatever you prefer. And this is just um, when you're in the embroidery mode. Okay, so next menu. Okay, to get to the next menu, we're using the page forward. Okay, so then now we've got buzzer on, buzzer off. If you don't like your machine making noise, you can turn it off. So now there's, it's quiet, uh, quiet. You don't hear any beeping whatsoever. So if I turn that off, you no longer hear any beepings. So it's up to you whether you like that beeping or not. So it's on or off. Okay, initial needle position. You can choose to have it set all the way over to the left, which is this. So that when you turn your machine on, your needle's going to go all the way over to the left side of the machine. Or you can choose this position, which is whatever you used on your last known setting. So my last known setting was um, my regular stitch right here, which is five point. So every time I turn on my machine, if I shut my machine off and I turn it on, it's automatically going to go to my last known memory stitch, which is right here. Okay, so I can set this. I can change this. I can go in and change this to be um, uh, right in the middle of the machine. So I can change that and I can save it. So if I go in and I hit this to memory and say, do I want to save the current settings? Yes. So then now, next time I shut my machine off, instead of being at 5.0, it's going to open right back up and I'm going to be at that 3.5 setting, which is dead center. It's not going to go back to my 5.0, which is where I usually sew for my doll clothes. So it's up to you um, whether you um, whatever setting you like on that. But um, that's what I like. I'm going to save that setting. Okay. So where were we? We were on um, initial position. So that's your last known set a uh, memory, and this one's all the way to the left. When you get the machine and you don't speak English, you can change it. There's a few languages in here. Um, there's uh, uh, Deutsch, which is German, um, France, Fr Francais, which is French, uh, Italian, uh, Netherlands, I believe that's what, Dutch, yeah, Dutch, uh, Espanol, Spanish. Uh, that, I think, is simplified Chinese, I'm not sure. Uh, Dansk, Danish. Uh, Norsk, Norwegian, uh, Swami, Finnish, uh, Svenska, Swedish, Portuguese, Ruski, Russian. Um, I believe that's Korean. I'm not sure. Um, and I believe that's Hebrew, but I could be wrong about that one too. So anyway, um, let's just take uh, French for this. Uh, French. Okay, I know a little bit of French. So we'll take French and then let's go back to the previous screen. And now instead of saying uh, color, uh, um, name of the color, it's saying nom de, de, nom de la couleur, which is the same thing, name of the color, and then it'll take you through 
the um, French Jure, which I believe is gold, and that'll take you through um, all your colors in the French language. And down here you can change to millimeter or inch, and, and no matter what language you're in, it doesn't matter, you can use whatever one. So let's go back to English, okay. So next menu is your brightness. Um, it's just a matter of uh, plus or minus, so if you go plus, that'll take you to um, the dark side of the moon and see how that can get darker and darker. And if you want to hit the minus sign, it'll take you to the light side and then you can change the um, coloring uh, to be whatever you want it to be. So pretty nice. So if you don't like the brightness, if you don't like the noise, you can change that. Okay, so that's basically it. That's the version of your machine and now it put, takes you back to the beginning again. So that's what that menu is. We've pretty much gone through the whole thing. And that's it. So that's the paper with the um, corner. And then that's pretty much it. Okay, so we're back to uh, the different stitches. So that's uh, what we just did was went through this uh, seventh button here on the side that tells you how the machine works. Okay, so I'll um, come back and we'll do another video on uh, more options on this machine.